In this video, we will start to build the story section of our Instagram app. Let's start this. So after the app bar of our scaffold, first of all, I will put this on the side with the control B. And after the app bar, we will use the body argument. Here we go. In this one, we will need to put the single child scroll view, single child scroll view. And this will allow us to scroll through the application. Okay, next step, we will need to put a column inside. So we'll use the child argument and we'll use column widget. I will format document. And then inside this column, we will put many widget inside. And those will be, by example, the story, uh, the story part, the feed part, and in the feed, we will have, by example, the header of the post, the image of the post, the footer of the post. So first of all, we will start by the story. So we will create our children argument. And inside, we will have first uh, in this one, I will slash and I will say this part is the story. Okay. So inside this story, we will need another a single child scroll view. And this will be because we will need to uh, slide to scroll to the side to see multiple stories. Okay, so we will add another single, single child scroll view. And inside we have the children, uh, the child, sorry for that. We have the child and this child will be a row. Perfect. And uh, we need to tell Flutter, okay, we are going inside the single child scroll view, this one, but we want the scrolling scrolling thing to be horizontal and not vertical. So we will need to say uh, just before the child or after, it's not a problem. We can use the scroll direction argument and say axis, uh, axis dot horizontal. This will tell Flutter that our single child scroll view, so the scroll view will be horizontal. Inside this, uh, child with a row, we will add children. And because children is a list of widgets, so a list of multiple widgets, we will create a widget that will build multiple widgets. Okay, let me explain. We will remove the list. And now what we will say, we will use something called the list.generate. This one is very useful when we use Flutter. We will say, by example, it will have eight item inside this list. And then this list will return only a simple container. I will put my comma in format document. So right now we have a list of eight container that can be scrollable like that. Okay, after that, inside this one, we will add a child. And this child will have, uh, first of all, a circle avatar. Oops circle avatar. Okay. So as you can see, we have now our container with our circle avatar like that. After that, we can add as well a padding over those uh, uh, inside the container. So we can say padding edge and sets that all and we will add a 10 by example. And as you can see, we will add padding inside. Good. After we will need to have something inside the circle avatar, and this will be the background image. So we have the back, background image argument, oops, background image argument, and we will need to put our image inside this one. So let's create a list of multiple image, okay? This will be a list of a string, call it by example, profile, image equal to a list of multiple image. And we will add all the, the image that we have add right here. So the one to eight. Let's go inside the, the pop spec to copy those eight image. So I will copy that. I will close then the pop spec dot yarn and I will paste them all inside. Then I will just remove the this for each of them with the control D. I remove all of them. And then I will select and put this, select, put this. So just to have all string image. And we will use this inside our image.asset. 
here we go now we will need the comma so i will select all of them and put a comma at the end format document good now we can uh we can use all this, those images. Oh, as you can see, we have a little uh, an error. We need the semicolon. And at the end, right here, we can use the image.asset. And uh, yeah, sometime with Flutter, when you write image.asset, because background image take an image provider. So sometime when you, when you try to add an image.asset, you can use something, pretty much call it similar, uh, the same, but you will understand. So it is, asset image it is just the the other way to say it and it works so you just test one and if it don't work you test the other one and sometimes uh, pretty much all the time it will work so you will say profile image like that and you will say index because we have created a list of object and this one have will create each item which index one after the other so each of one, each of them are one. So it will be the profile image of this item that we are creating right now. Good. Next step that we will need to do is add another circle over this one. So if we say refactor with, uh, oh, even better, we can add a circle avatar inside this one. So we can do uh, inside the circle avatar, after the background image, we can say child, and we can say circle avatar, another one. We can copy this one if we want, we can, or we can copy the background color, background image, and we paste it inside. We format document, and now we can see that we have the same thing. But the little, the little thing right here is we will change this image, this asset image, for the image that we have, the story.png. So now we will say image slash story.png and now we will have our little uh, color behind but we will need to add a certain radius so for the first circle avatar the radius will be 35 and for the other one the radius will be 32 and now as you can see we have the, the little uh, round over the icon this is very nice next step will be to uh, add the name of the profile under the image. So what we can do, we can wrap, so refactor, wrap with a column, okay? You can press control dot and wrap with a column. Then after this one, we will add a little text widget like that. And we can say uh, inside quotation mark profile name. After we can add a certain uh, style to this text. So we can say style argument. We can use the text style like this. And the text style will have a font size of, by example, 12. I will put the comma format document. And I will put this on the side because we cannot see the code. And uh, after I will add another thing is the color. And we'll say uh, colors.black black 87 because we don't want to be black black but just with some opacity that's good but the name the profile name and the picture is a little bit too close one to the other so we will add a sized box between both of them the sized box take a height argument and in this one you can say by example 10 and this will uh, move this will put a uh, spacing between those two so that was it for the uh, the story thing. So we, as you can see, we can scroll very easily through all those stories. We can add maybe a divider before ending this uh, this video. And the divider will be uh, after the single child scroll view. So as you can see, we have one big single child, the, a little one. And after this little one, we'll add a divider like this. So now we will divide and on the next video, we will continue here just to continue uh, on the feed. So see you on the next video. Bye.